I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Welcome back to an all new video friends. I'm so happy you guys are here and I hope you had a beautiful Thanksgiving with friends or family or however you decide to spend your holiday. I wanted to get a quick sneak peek of this year's tablescape before we dive right into my cozy Christmas bedroom decorating video that we're going to be doing today but I did host a small family gathering just a few days early before Thanksgiving this year and I wanted to share with you guys what I came up with. A lot of this I already owned minus the flatware and the plates I just grabbed off of Amazon, but it was beautiful and we had a wonderful day with lots of amazing food. Before we dive right into the decorating, I wanna make a cozy cup of coffee. I wanted to take a moment to share today's sponsor, Merit. Merit is a minimalist beauty brand creating products that are safe for the body, skin, and planet. All of their products are non-comiodogenic, which means they are formulated with ingredients that will not clog your pores. Merit products are paraben, sulfate, cruelty, and artificial fragrance free. They're also vegan if that's something that is important to you. Merit has reimagined luxury beauty to make it accessible. All the formulations are considered luxury, but are actually priced about 30% below traditional luxury brands. I wanted to share a quick makeup routine that will be minutes to put on, but make you feel really put together. This is the minimalist complexion stick that's not a foundation or a concealer, but it replaces both in your makeup bag. It's completely buildable to give you light to medium coverage that stays breathable all day. And today I'm using the color Bone. To blend, I'm using the Merit Number no. One Blending Brush. This brush helps makeup blend so seamlessly that you don't know where your skin and makeup meet. And to bring in some warmth and contour, I'm using the Bronze Balm in the color Clay. This is the easiest bronzer ever. With its sheer buildable formula, it gives warm, soft definition that is never cakey. I usually start light and continue to build color until it's where I like it. The Day Glow Highlight Balm is made for daytime. This highlighter gives a dewy sheen without too much sparkle. The creamy plant-based formula locks in hydration, leaving you a beautiful dewy look. Again, build until you get that perfect sheen in the sunshine. Don't forget those lips, ladies. I love this color lip liner in the color Bespoke. It blended out so beautifully with the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil for a pretty natural everyday look. Lastly, to complete today's look, I'm finishing with Merit's Clean Lash Mascara. This will be your go-to mascara for everyday use. It tints, lengthens, and lifts your lashes with no smudging. I slept in it to test it out and there were no smudges or flaking the next morning. It's also easy to remove, just use warm water and cleanser. This is my completed look. It feels light and fresh on my skin and I feel ready to tackle my to-do list today. Shop discounted Merit sets using my link down below in the description box. Every first Merit order ships with Merit's signature bag and all orders over $40 get free shipping. Thank you so much to Merit for sponsoring today's video. I wanted to always thank you for supporting my channel and anytime I share sponsored content, that is what helps provide and keeps this channel going. So thank you so much. If you are still watching, I'm really excited to share this cozy Christmas bedroom with you guys. It just totally exceeds my expectations. And just like my other Christmas videos I've been sharing so far, we again, step it up, 
big this year. So I just love how cozy and festive everything turns out in here. And we're gonna go ahead and strip these usual all around sheets and we're going to get ready to deck the halls here on my bed with Christmas sheets, a new comforter set, some throw pillows. We're gonna be doing garland over the bed and hang a beautiful Santa picture. I think this is gonna be the perfect spot for him since I have my almost life-size Santa down below by the fireplace. And like I said, everything just turns out so festive and cozy. It feels like a Hallmark movie in here. But thank you again so much for all your support and liking and commenting and sharing my channel and just being supportive. You guys have made 2023 such an amazing year here on YouTube. I am taking you guys along with me, so I'm not gonna cut out any of the mistakes. So this comforter, I always put the tag towards the foot of the bed, but it just wasn't seeming wide enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the comforter to where the tag is to the side of the bed versus the foot of the bed. And that way it covers just a little bit more of the sides. I have a king bed and I ordered a queen, a king comforter, so I'm not sure why it's not fitting correctly. But with just a little adjusting, I did get it to look just a bit better. But let's be honest, I'm only using this comforter set for a few weeks out of the whole year. So we're going to make it work. I've been longing for this Christmas When everyone's around To share this holiday Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year so special cause I'm hoping for that we'll fall in love in this winterland Could we fall in love in this winterland Wanna fall in love in this winter My oversized throw pillows on here just have pillow covers on them so I'm going to take these off and put on some really beautiful Christmas colored plaid looking ones. I think there's an actual name for this pattern but I am drawing a blank. So we're just going to swap out the pillow covers on these. These were just really reasonably priced on Amazon. So was the comforter set. If you guys want any links please feel free to let me know just down below in the comments. I never know what you guys want links for so just let me know if I can grab you anything. The throw pillows I did have in front of the green, um, but then I decided with this plaid pillow, I think I'm just going to set them back a little bit. Let me know which one you guys like better. Um, this Mary pillow is from Hobby Lobby. I got it just a couple weeks ago for half off. I wanted to bring some red towards the foot of the bed just to break up all this green. And so I'm using this red throw blanket I got from Target, I believe two Christmases ago now. And that way just everything looks nice and even and cohesive between the sheets, the red and the throw pillows, the green of the comforter. I think everything just looks really nice. Moving on to the corner of the bedroom, I got these signs. I shared them a few weeks ago from Kirkland's. They were having an online sale. I got these for $14.99 each and I wasn't exactly sure where I was going to put them. So that's why you're gonna see the packaging and tags still on these because I wasn't sure if I was going to be keeping them since I more so bought them thinking I'll just find a place and I could always return them if I couldn't. So I'm gonna kind of play with these in this corner. You guys will have to keep watching and see if I end up keeping them or not. So we're gonna mess around with these for a few minutes and then we're gonna set up a cozy little pencil, pencil tree here in the corner.
On the bottom of the tree, I didn't have a Christmas tree skirt, so I'm just using a blanket scarf that I think I got from the Target dollar spot years ago. So I already had this and I figured instead of running out and buying a tree skirt, why not just go ahead and use this? I think it looks really, really cute. Let me know what you guys think of these pieces of art on the wall with this tree and then just the black and white tree skirt on the bottom. I'm hoping everything looks really, really nice. I mean, I think it looks nice, but I love just a pair of fresh eyes and you guys can let me know what you think. Moving back over to the bed, this is my Santa picture. I got him from Kirkland's. He was $50. Um, I got him before the Kirkland sale, but he was worth every penny because you guys will see here when I hang him up above the bed, he is a nice substantial size and he looks very expensive. So. Even though I didn't get him on sale, I still think 50 bucks was pretty fair. And this is a piece that I feel like you're going to have for years and years. So I wanted to kind of hold him up and get an idea of how it looks. And then to hang him, I'm just using my painter's tape trick where you use the painter's tape to measure the distance between the holes on the back of the piece of artwork. And then I put that piece of tape up on the wall use a level to make sure the painter's tape is straight and then I just hammer in my nails at the ends of the tape. You peel the tape off and hang your picture and voila, it is nice and straight. If I really wanted to take this a step further, I could add some twinkle lights to this, but I think I'm just going to leave it here because I remember in prior Christmases, I'd fall asleep and forget to turn the lights off and I was just going through too many batteries. So I think we're just gonna leave the garland above the bed without the lights this year. And um, with the twinkling of the Christmas tree in the corner, I really think this isn't a very big bedroom. So I feel like that is plenty just to cozy it up in here. And then of course, you know, we have a candle lit or a Christmas movie on. I feel like that definitely just sets the whole Christmas vibe anyways. Moving over to the dresser, I wanted to just put down the Christmas tree runner that I used last year. And then I'm going to use a garland on top of that. I did have someone suggest to flip the runner over because um, it's double sided so where it's green it's white and then it has the green trees but to me it almost looked too busy and I wanted to keep it kind of more neutral and mellow over here with just pops of red so I decided to keep the green add in these beautiful mercury glass Christmas lights I got from home goods last year and then my Hobby Lobby Santa that I think I've had him for probably five years. He is absolutely beautiful. I used to decorate with neutrals, so that's why I bought him, but now I go full traditional with all the reds, the greens, the golds, all the good stuff, but I still wanted to add him in and I think he looks really, really nice. And then just, I'm gonna add a candle on a little pedestal. And as you guys can see on the TV, I just put on some vintage Christmas artwork. And I think this, without being too much work, looks very, very festive. The Christmas lights fill the city. There are people everywhere the snow is falling white and pretty as i stroll on my way to you how will you feel about packing up today I will make sure to share all the up close shots and overview so you guys can get an idea of how everything came together. 
But before that, I wanted to vacuum up all of the Christmas tree flocking and garland and glitter that got all over the place during the decorating process. I think we all know how that goes, but I really do love how it all came together. My husband came upstairs and I was like, what do you think? How does it look? And he said it looks like Christmas threw up in here, which was exactly what I was going for. I love a Hallmark Christmas where I feel like I'm in a Hallmark Christmas movie. Make sure you guys check out my prior Christmas videos to this and watch because I love how my family room and entryway and I even decorated the bathroom downstairs. It all came together so cute this year. My next Christmas video will be my Christmas kitchen. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the full after and overview of my cozy Christmas bedroom. Thank you so much for watching today if you guys enjoyed it if you could consider subscribing and even hitting that like button it helps me out a ton as a small creator i will also have merit linked down below in the description box remember every first merit order ships with merit signature bag and all orders over 40 dollars get free shipping thank you again so much for hanging out with me today and i'll see you guys in the next video bye friends